just a reminder that everything you see here on Gamers on Games is made possible by patrons like you. Why not check out our Patreon page? It would really help us out. Gamers on Games is sponsored in part by... I'm Lynn from Metalhead Minis. Great to meet you. Uh, be sure to check us out online at metalheadminis.com. You can find out more about our services, such as miniature painting. We also do consignment. We also teach at local game stores. Be sure to check us out at metalheadminis.com. Thanks for having me. Hi, this is Dennis with 3D Game Gear. We are gamers with a family-run business that specialize in 3D printed accessories for board games. We offer a wide range of items, including tokens, token cups, token boxes, player dashboards, and much more. We are always adding new items to enhance your gaming experience, so come check us out at the address below. And by viewers like you. So we got uh, And Then We Died, which is a cooperative storytelling game where we are all ghosts who just died and we're trying to figure out what happened using our fragmented memories that are going to be represented by uh, word fragments on tarot cards. So you have letters sticking around and you might um, make a word here that says uh, Bart, right? And maybe that's something that I remember... Um, like, I don't know, like, is your, was your name Bart before and you were trying to, like, you know, get a different name? So we went to the courthouse and whatever, right? So you're telling this story of, like, a series of weird events. Um, generally speaking, most people tend to go towards, like, more of a Coen Brothers, you know, Guy Ritchie sort of vibe. Right. Um, but we've also had people tell stories that make each other cry or just super funny, super off the wall, silly, all kinds of stuff. Um, it's really whatever you want it to be. Nice. Um, the other game, uh, that one is uh, 20 bucks. We have a limited Pax U edition. Okay. Uh, that I think we're going to have a few of these left over. Okay. Um, they'll be up on the website. Um, then we also have uh, Stoner Parking Lot, okay. which is a game where we are all uh, in partnerships. We want to go smoke some weed in the van outside a concert. <laughs> um, but we don't, we're not trying to take everybody. You know? We've got like one joint, the van gets crowded. So we're trying to collect a set of all six elements that are kind of the most uh, ideal for a perfect van experience, right? So you got like weed and a lighter, of course, but you also got like pizza and a mixtape, and you're really going to lay in there. Um, <laughs> So when you have a complete set, you're going to try to secretly signal your partner that they should call out, let's go smoke. Reveal my hand. If I have all six, we get a point. If we fuck up our signaling, I don't have it, everybody else gets a point. Wow. But we got to be careful because anybody else can also call me out if they catch my signal before you do. If they catch me out and I have all six, then they get a point. I can also try to fake them out because if they call me out and I don't have all six, then we get a point too. Oh, nice. Okay. So there's a lot of bluffing. It's all bluffing. It's really simple mechanically on the table because that lets you keep your eyes up because all you're really doing is looking at each other. It's a vehicle for trying to have that kind of weird cerebral social experience. Yeah. Um, if you play with five, uh, the odd player is a narc whose only job is to catch anyone with all six. <laughs> I like that. That's really cool. Kind of really digs into that sort of 70s vibe. Yeah, a little bit more, I'm going to say a little bit more 80s into the 90s because okay. it's a little more stoner metal than like oh, okay. hippie vibes. Oh, okay. Um, the, actually, the artist we got is uh, pretty well known for doing album covers and uh, tour posters and stuff. Oh, nice. He did, uh, he did the album covers for some of the more iconic records that are kind of informing the vibe of the game. Oh, uh, nice. So he did like Dope Smoker for Sleep. He did, uh, he's made Honey in the Lion's Skull for Earth. Like he's done some really, really cool stuff. His name's Eric Roper. Um, super talented guy that friend of a friend we got hooked up and he did the art for the game we're really happy with it that's really cool all right anything else that you want to talk about um yeah we got uh just quick on the three drops we have coming up soon yep um we have glamazon's finally getting done because killjoy is doing it nice um 
which means that there's people that aren't me handling a lot of the logistics and stuff I suck at. <laughs> Um, and that one, for anybody that doesn't know, is uh, we're a bunch of female warriors. We get sent to the armor shop, given a shitty chainmail bikini, and we're like, nah, nah, that's not good. So we decide to go out, kill some monsters, turn them into armor ourselves. Um, and that's a bluffing game where you're uh, just straight up bluffing about how much damage you did to a monster, because only one of you can end up with each individual piece of armor. Um, the armor is all unique and tied to the monster you're killing, right. and it's on uh, reusable vinyl stickers like color forms or like uh, oh, paper nice. doll stuff. Yeah. And everybody has a little paper doll where they're actually playing dress up uh, with the different pieces of armor. Oh, well, that's cool. I'm definitely going to have to look out for that one. Yeah, yeah. Then we got um, Unsinkable, which is a game um, Eric Slauson did that is uh, about survivor's guilt during the sinking of the Titanic. Oh, that sounds interesting. Yeah, so we all play as like mates on uh, the boat who are in charge of when the lifeboats are dropped into the water and when they're signaled to come back to pick up other people people in the water. Um, and basically you're trying to get as many people off the boat as you can so that you're doing more than the people, the other people. Um, but you also run the risk of capsizing if you push it too far, uh, which is super accurate to what happens uh, there. And you're, yeah. you're collecting guilt. It's real heavy. Um, then the other game we have coming out, hopefully in time for East, is called Last Call. Okay. And that's a cooperative game where we are all alcoholics in a recovery group together. <laughs> We are uh, trying to get alcohol out of our lives. And so it's uh, kind of a reverse deck builder. Okay. Where you start out with a bunch of alcohol and you're drawing your hand and that's your day. And then you're uh, having to deal with uh, temptations that might be out there as well as trying to get it out of your deck as it's happening. Um, and replacing it with uh, alternatives and stop gaps. Some of which are great and healthy, some of which are less healthy, like taking up smoking. Um, it's super real. The designer, uh, in recovery himself for a long time. Uh, um, some other people involved with the company uh, also have similarly complicated experiences with uh, alcohol, and um, it, it just feels super real. Like a lot, of, all the details are very. Yeah, I think that's um, one of those games that would have to be made by somebody who's been through it, rather than somebody who's like, "Hey, I saw it in a movie once." Yeah, exactly, exactly. And we're we're really happy with that. That's coming together as well. That's really cool. It's a wide variety. It's a real wide range. Yeah, which is what we're kind of going for with Killjoy, right? Because we. It, it's passion projects. It's stuff that we're excited about that um, we want to do our way. Right. Um, not stuff that we want. Uh, just stuff that we're really passionate about, excited about, and feel like kind of pushes some uh, boundaries in different directions depending on the project. But, you know, really trying to, to, to do some more interesting stuff. Yeah, rather than just the standard, you know, this is a joke game, this is a serious game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, the thing with Killjoy is it's, it's just there's a bunch of us that have day jobs doing other stuff with other game companies right. and so this is a place for us to kind of really get wild um, and uh, you know drive those projects that, that we're real excited about yeah. so for me it's great because I get to be uh, one of the creative directors and kind of drive a lot of the vision right but um, there's other people that are like really good at spreadsheets and they're just as excited about it and uh, helping take all this vision and making it happen you know like making sure there was electricity in the booth and like yeah. you know <laughs> all that kind of thing yeah so you guys can't see it but this is actually the trunk of a car and even having this smoke billowing out of this thing all convention long it's pretty impressive it's a lot of stuff <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're doing really well. We're going to uh, sell out a Stoner parking lot for sure. Um, we brought more and then we died, but, you know, we're selling, you know, pretty solid. Um, so. I'm happy to see that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's going real good. I mean, we're, we're people are responding very well, which is exciting. Yeah, uh, since really this is our launch. You guys contacted us and they're like, hey, yeah, can okay, you guys go? We're like, yeah, heck yeah. Yeah, I mean, we kind of soft launched an S in a couple weeks ago, and then this is our real first launch, and even that, we didn't do a whole lot of building up to. We just kind of doing it and uh, spreading the word more organically. I'm guessing the response has been pretty positive. Yeah, man. I mean, the thing is, like, if you're into what we do, like, if you see it, you're, like, probably going to be into it, you know? Yeah. We're very much what you see on the can. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, you know what? Thanks for taking some of your time to talk to us. Uh, guys, so Killjoy, what's the website for, uh, to keep up with you guys? Uh, joyisdead.com. Got mailing lists on there. Um, we'll be putting out updates of when stuff's coming out. Uh, 
um, next show we're going to be doing at Killjoy booth at is going to be PAX East. Okay. Um, we're not doing a lot of shows, A, because we don't want to do a lot of shows, and B, we're already at so many shows, like, that I need to do other work at. <laughs> no, I got that one. All right, guys. So, this has been Dave and Matt at Killjoy Games. Thanks for stopping in.